In this video, we will explain the Laue condition, which is a more general form of the Bragg condition and describes how waves can scatter at a lattice. Both the incoming and the outgoing X-ray waves can be written in terms of cosine functions, where we assume monochromatic light for simplicity. The incoming wave has a wave vector k, and the outgoing wave has the wave vector k prime. For now, those two mathematical expressions don't have anything to do with each other. So let's think about what physics they represent. In order for those two cosines to represent scattered x-rays, they have to meet at some point in the crystal lattice. And what's more, they have to be in sync, which means their face should be the same. And this should be true for any point x in the lattice. If we rearrange this equation a bit, we get the result that k prime minus k times x has to be equal to 2 pi times some integer n. Again, x represents any lattice point, so we can write it in terms of lattice vectors a. Compare this to the defining equation of the reciprocal lattice vectors. We see that if k prime minus k is equal to a reciprocal lattice vector, the equation is automatically fulfilled and we get constructive interference. This is the lower condition. By doing an experiment, we know the incoming wave vector k, we can measure the outgoing wave vector k prime whenever we get constructive interference, and this leads us to information about the crystal lattice by means of the reciprocal lattice vectors g. Before we end this video, let us show that the lower condition directly leads to the Bragg condition. In the case of Bragg scattering, the wave vector only changes direction, not magnitude. Therefore, k squared is the same as k prime squared. If we write the lower condition as k being equal to k prime minus g, we can square this equation and subtract k squared from both sides, since it's equal to k prime squared. Next, we simplify the inner product by using the cosine of the angle between k prime and g. A quick look at a drawing of Bragg scattering reveals that this angle is equal to pi over 2 minus the incident angle, which is usually called theta. And the cosine of this is equal to the sine of theta. Next, the wave vector is given by 2 pi over lambda, and g is given by n times 2 pi over the lattice distance d. And really, Rearranging this equation yields the usual Bragg condition for constructive interference in X-ray scattering. In other words, the Lowry condition can be seen as a more general case of the Bragg condition. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.